Before proceeding, please watch the video on normal coronary angiogram for better understanding. Coronary collaterals are also called as natural bypasses. These are anastomotic connections without an intervening capillary bed. It can be between the portions of the same coronary artery or between different coronary arteries. For example, in this case, there is collateral circulation between the right coronary artery to the left anterior descending artery. Let's see the determinants of coronary collaterals. When there is a proximal occlusion in a coronary artery, there is high chance of forming coronary collaterals. And when the occlusion is more severe, for example, when there is total occlusion, there is high chance of formation of coronary collaterals. And also when the duration of the occlusion or angina is longer, more is the formation of coronary collaterals. Coronary collaterals can even be present in some normal persons. What are the clinical importance of coronary collaterals? In case of acute myocardial infarction, the collaterals will decrease the infarct size. It preserves the myocardial function. It also decreases the mortality. This is mainly due to the decreased incidence of cardiogenic shock, but the blood supply from the collateral coronary circulation is just sufficient for the resting myocardium. It is not sufficient to prevent angina or myocardial infarction on exertion. So, the patient with coronary collaterals must need coronary revascularization procedures. Let's see the coronary collaterals in angiograms. In the first case, we will see the collaterals from the right coronary artery to the left anterior descending artery. Here one can see there is total occlusion of a lady that is left anterior descending artery. This is one more view showing the total occlusion of a lady. In this angio shot, you can see the LED is being filled from the PDA that is posterior descending artery which is a branch of right coronary artery. The second case is the collateral from RCA to the obtuse marginal branch of the left circumflex artery. In this angio shot you can see there is total occlusion of the left circumflex artery and in this view you can see the obtuse marginal branch of the left circumflex artery is being filled from the right coronary artery branches. The third case is the collateral circulation from the left anterior descending artery to the posterior descending artery. In this angio shot, you can see the total occlusion of the right coronary artery. And in this view, you can see the posterior descending artery is being filled from the left anterior descending artery. So we conclude here about the coronary collaterals. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.